I'll tell you right now, we had an Italian president running the country. War in Afghanistan be over. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't know how, but it'd be over. This wise guy is one of the bad boys of Italian comedy. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton, and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're speaking with Mike Marino. And then they'd ask our president, like a really big news conference, right? They'd be like, Mr. President, you ended the war out in Baghdad. Can you tell us how you did it? Our boy be on national television in a three-piece suit, smoking a cigarette, going, <laughs> Don't worry about it. So your routine focuses quite a bit on your Italian heritage. So why don't you give us some context for your routine and uh, tell us about your upbringing and your family. When I was growing up in New Jersey, you know, coming from an Italian family with blonde hair and blue eyes, we had a hard time convincing everybody that we actually look like this. My mother's from Abruzzo, so a lot of people would say, you know, could you possibly really be Italian, a United Irish? And we always proved that we were Italian by saying, yeah, well, okay, I'm 45 years old and I used to live at home with my mom. That's Italian. So let's say you take me home to your mother's house for dinner. What does she do when I get there? She'd probably have to feed you within less than three minutes. And if you didn't eat, she wouldn't like you. What's the matter? You don't like my food. My house is not good enough for you. I've seen you do sketch comedy with Jay Leno, and one skit that you did was Baywatch New Jersey. So what other shows should get a New Jersey makeover? Well, hey, you know, I guess there are a lot of Jersey shows that are kind of looking really ridiculous that you notice they all have a lot in common. Big hair, big attitudes, lots of fights, and unfortunately, it's true. A lot of Jersey girls kind of do act like that. I've also seen you say that you want to run for president. Now, why would you make a good president? You know what, nowadays I think I really would be a good president. I don't think our presidents express themselves. They give speeches that are written by someone else. Now, if I was the president, I wouldn't rely on somebody else's speech. And we have a problem with China. We owe them a lot of money. So if I was the president, I would go to China and I'd say to the China guy, listen, you know the money we owe you? We don't owe you no more. So now we're gonna do, what if I had an Italian and then we're gonna insert profession here from New Jersey. So what if we had an Italian gym teacher? He'd be probably taking bets on the side. Hey, listen. I really want to kick you the ball over the field goal, but if you don't get it right, don't worry about it. We'll make a couple extra bucks. What if we had an Italian wedding planner? You know, I think we do have a couple of uh, Italian wedding planners, and uh, you know, unfortunately, some of the weddings are a little on the gaudy side. A lot of statues, a lot of crying, a lot of long mom and son dancing. What if we had an Italian life coach? Come on, get off your ass, go to work. You're so lazy. Would you do something with yourself? I'm tired of being your coach. You owe me a hundred bucks. What if we had an Italian trainer? And we going like this. I want you to give me 500 push-ups. You keep doing them. I'm going to be over there having something to eat while you're training. Then he goes in the locker room and he goes, Oh, it's nice to be here in the locker room, but everybody's walking around naked. I'm very uncomfortable. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's nice to be on the show. MikeMarino.net.